to inflammatory. Okay. I'm going to give you two initially. And then from now on, you'll take one. Okay. You haven't had anything to eat or drink since at least midnight. 10 30. Okay. Get a little bit of water there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably thirsty. Really <laughs> thirsty. Your next dose will be at seven tonight. Okay. Are you going to be taking care of her tonight? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's one for tonight here. To read through your instructions. Yeah. Okay. Both that's really time. All right. <laughs> Do you have extra strength Tylenol available at home? Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. We will give you IV pain medication until you get to the recovery room. Okay. From then on, we'll start. Uh, I'll start some Tylenol for you, mm -hmm. extra strength, and then let you know when the next dose will be. Okay. What is key is continuing that Celebrex, keeping Tylenol going, and applying ice. Mm -hmm. Three things together work very well mm -hmm. to help with the discomfort level. What you will wake up with is a pressure and a tightness, not necessarily so much pain. Mm -hmm. And the pressure and tightness is what causes you the, dis the discomfort. Swelling goes above the implant, and um, that's what, what causes that discomfort and the tightness. Apply ice in a bag, mm -hmm. and you want to apply it to the top here, because that's where that swelling is. You mentioned trying to reduce the swelling. You want to be elevated in bed on a lot of pillows, or use a recliner, mm -hmm. or recline on a sofa with a lot of pillows. Okay. If you laid flat, all the swelling would go right to the top here. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do that. Do that for at least the first couple nights. After that, you can kind of work your way down, depending how you're feeling okay. and how you're doing. Also, don't go to bed and stay there uh, till tomorrow morning. You need okay. to get up and walk. Um, walking on your legs is the best prevention for a deep vein thrombosis, mm -hmm. which is a blood clot, mm -hmm. and you have a higher incidence of, of that after anesthesia and surgery. So about every couple hours, just to the bathroom and back, or kitchen and back, um, you can go to bed for the night, but by morning, make sure you get up and walk again. Okay. okay. And there's no bandages or dressings. You'll have skin glue on the incision, and the skin glue can look rough and ragged at some point. Just leave it in place. Come off on its own within a couple weeks. Okay. okay. You walk as much as possible, balancing that with rest for the first couple days here. But walk as much as possible, leisurely, not raising your heart rate above normal, and not using any exercise machine or treadmill. Okay, no other exercise for the first two or three weeks. Uh, then not lifting anything more than five pounds for three weeks includes purses, backpacks, laptops, suitcases, laundry bags, grocery bags, everything like that. Okay. Uh, pushing and pulling is the same also as lifting, so no vacuuming for three weeks, no walking a large dog on a leash that can pull, um, anything like that. Okay. okay? And very important, you have the phone numbers for Dr. Basham, and he wants to be called. If it's 3 a.m. in the morning, that's fine. Um, there's a cell phone, home phone, hang on to the numbers throughout your recovery, so you can reach him you know, on weekends and everything. Don't hesitate to call with any question. He knows how to help you as sooner than, much sooner than later, so, okay? Any questions you can think of? Right in here. This is Haley. Hi. How are you doing?